Today I will show you how to use the motion blocks and move your sprite across the screen. First, we'll start with steps. If you want to move your sprite, put the move 10 steps blocks here. Then, if you want to change how many steps you move, you can simply change the number in the box. This moves about 50 steps, which is roughly a quarter of the screen. Next, if you want to change the direction in which your sprite moves, you can turn a certain amount of degrees. For example, if you wanted to move to the left, you could turn 180 degrees from your current position and move 50 steps. There you go. All right. Next, I will show you how to go to a position. So, using the random position block, you can go to anywhere on the screen and it will randomize and change any time. This way, your code is different every time you run it. Or you can choose a direct position to go to. For example, if you wanted to reset to x0, y0, you could simply put in this block and play, and it would reset every time. All right. Now, if you want to see your sprite move to the position as an animation, you can instead glide. For example, here, we glide for one second to a random position, and then we reset. This way, it shows the movement. You can also glide to a specific position if you'd like by changing it over here. So if you wanted to glide one second to a random position and then glide to the origin like this, you could play. And that's exactly what it would do. All right. If you would also like to change this one variable, you can do that here. This way, every time you run the program, it'll change x by 10. You can also change y individually. So for example, in this program, we move up by slightly more than we move across. Here we can point in the direction. Instead of rotating your sprite to move one way and then moving by steps, we can point in the direction. So 90 degrees is moving right, like this. But if we wanted to point instead, to negative 90 degrees, then we can move left. Finally, if on edge bounce will help you because if you hit the edge of the program screen, your user may be confused. So you will want to show them that they cannot overextend the boundaries, like this. As you can see, it's slightly moving when it's at the edge. These blocks down here can be inserted into different blocks in order to utilize the Y position, the X position, and the direction, but they're usually not used within a motion block. Finally, you can point towards mouse pointer. This will help the user interact with the object so that the sprite moves according to where their mouse pointer is pointing. So if you want to point towards mouse pointer and then move, you could do it this way. Oops, wrong block. There you can see, since my mouse is up here, the sprite is moving towards it. Thank you for watching.